Yo guys, what's up? Mushroom Gecko here. Today is Minecraft 15W31A. So, um, we're gonna kick start this thing by showing you guys the chorus fruit. Here it is right here. I'll explain how to get the chorus fruit later. Because it's way too epic to show you how to do it now. <clears throat> the next thing we have here is the pop chorus fruit. And you get that by putting your chorus fruit in a furnace. And then you get the pop chorus fruit. And then you go to the purple block by taking your pop chorus fruit. In a formation like this in your crafting table, and getting the purple block. And then after that, you get your purple stair by taking purple blocks in a stair formation, and you get four purple stairs. And after that, you get purple slabs by taking uh, three purple blocks in your crafting table, and then you get six purple slabs. Next thing we have here is purple pillars, which I do not know how to craft. Um, I don't, like, I did not find a crafting recipe on that. Alright, after that we have the end stone brick by taking end stone and you get four end stone brick. And then we get pocket edition item now. Um so it is the beetroot. You take beetroot seeds and beetroots. Uh so you get beetroot seeds and then you plant them to form to get beetroots, which are right here. I wanted to show step one, two, three, and four, but they just all grew. <laughs> um and then you can get beetroot soup by putting beetroot in a formation like this and then a bowl and you get your beetroot soup. And after that, after you slay the dragon in the end, we have this cool new dragon head which I'll show you right now. It looks so sick. And it's actually so huge in your hand also. Just look at this. Can you put it on your head? Yeah! <laughs> I want to see how derpy I look. <laughs> That's beautiful. Just like, just walk up to your friend, just be like, yo, what's up? Alright, let's put this, put the dragon head back. That was awesome. Oh, and I'm gonna show you guys something real quick though. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yep. Offhand slots, I'll show you guys how to do that later. And then we have this new shulker mob, which you get in the end cities. So here's the shulker mob. If you get close to it, it opens up. And then it will start shooting these little stars at you. If it opens up again, come on. Open up. Open up. Yeah. Yeah. Just look at look at his cute little face. Look at it, it's so cute. I don't know why it would be hostile. It's just so cute. We also have new arrows. These are the new Potion arrow, which you can get by taking any arrow and any potion, except for the water bottle potion. You know what I mean by potions, you know, like leaping, harming, strength. And by putting your potion on top of it. And then I don't know how to get the spectral arrow. I tried many different crafting recipes for that. I could not find anything for the spectral arrow. But now we have new end plants. Uh, we have this little end rod right here, which is not a plant, but you can just get it in the end. Yeah, it has this, like, just this little end effect right here. Apparently, you can put it on its side, too. It's pretty cool. Just limbo. Du, 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 du. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So, that's your end rods. And then we have these... This end... Cor this chorus plant, and then the chorus flower. So, um... The chorus plant make the chorus flower uh, by putting it down on an end block and then it just gradually goes up and up and up and these little bulbs right here this is a chorus plant these things are chorus plants I think this is like a fully grown chorus plant not really sure but if you mine up these chorus plants you get the chorus fruit like I showed you guys over there so let's put these back real quick and then here are a few notes. The spectral is purple when shot, so um, I take out my spectral arrow, and then I get a bow. And then I put the arrow in my offhand, which you're supposed to do, and you shoot it, it's purple. Yeah. And it also has like this little trail effect, which is really cool. Um... And then arrow delays on shooting, like when I first um, got the update, like the arrows when I shot them, it 
shot them, they would act like they hit a wall, but then they would just still be flying. So, I'm not sure if, like, restarting Minecraft fixed that, because that's what I had to do. Um, that's not what I meant to do. I, go into, I meant to go into there, but... Alright, and then, uh, any arrows in offhand is the one that's shot. So, if I go into my arrows here, and I get my potion of slowness, I get my, um, potion of, let's say, poison, and then... Oh, so apparently you can do water bottle. Huh. Okay. <laughs> um, potion of invisibility. And I take my spectral arrow offhand. And then, um, so my, oh, also, down on the HUB, down on the hub thing, uh, it shows, like, your, uh, the pullback of your bow. So if you look down on my hotbar, look at that, you can, like, see it be pulled back. Um... And I also want to try something here real quick, so if I move this over, I wonder. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So, um, if I get a creeper here, apparently any arrow in your offhand or the one closest to your bow is the one that's shot. So right now, the, po the potion of poison, and you saw earlier the potion of slowness. So if I put down a creeper, and I shoot him, let's, ooh, let's try the spectral arrow. So... That is a glitch, huh? And so I wonder, what if I did this? Yep, that's a glitch. So, um, any arrow in your offhand is is supposed to be the one that shot, but for whatever reason, the potion of poison went off whenever I did the spectral arrow. So, like, you see the spectral arrows in my hand now. The potion of poison is the next closest thing to it. I put down a creeper and I shoot him with this. It's a po you see the poison effects, but you also see like this outline. So that'd actually be a perfect example to show you guys now. Um, so I'm just gonna do this. Just create a little thing for the creeper. No, stupid creeper. No. Creepers are a little jumpy, huh? Stupid creeper. Whatever. I'll kill him later. So, um, the spectral arrows, what they do is... You see that little outline? You can see the mobs in between blocks now. For a certain amount of time. So that's what the spectral arrow and the other arrows do in your offhand. And, um... Uh, what? I did not write that. When I came back into this world, it just like completely messed up all, all my signs. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Can okay, blah 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 and offhand. Oh yeah, cannot use the bow in the offhand. So if I put the bow in the offhand, I can't use the bow. So just don't put your bow in your offhand, thinking that you're gonna use it. It's not gonna work. All right. And then your default offhand key is F, so if you press F, you can switch between blocks in your offhand. So, that's that's pretty cool. And then this thing's still growing. It's cool. Uh, I need to set it today again. I am back in the end world. So, um, I just spawned in this world, and I just started throwing ender pearls. And it brought me down into this, into this ravine with an exposed stronghold and an abandoned mine shaft. How often do you find those? Never. Never. You never find them. It's like really rare. So, um... Here's this... Here's a little skeleton. But we're gonna go... We can find the room. Yep. Found the room. Take my ender pearls. Huh, that's also a glitch apparently. They step on things like this. They suffocate. So yeah, let's go to the end and see what's up. 
Oh, dang. So, as you guys see here, there are cages around the end stones now. So, you can't, um, you can't break them as easily. And then this is automatically here. And you can't get it. You can't get it lit up until you beat the dragon. So, if we can find the dragon around here, that would be swell. Actually, let me just, let me turn up chunks hmm where's that little dragon where's her dragon butt face I cannot find him Mojang did say that they did not completely put everything into this new update because they wanted to find or they wanted to f ha have people find a few glitches but I can't find the dragon and that's pretty weird also, the end city is not spawning. That's pretty weird. Alright, so they took out the dragon, I guess? I don't know. But they uh not spawning, and I don't see an end city around here. The only thing I see is that thing. And this unfinished nether... Or not another end portal. So, what if we dig under? If we dig under, is that going to do anything? Oh, I really wanted to see the end city. Apparently not, you can't see it yet. Nor can you see the dragon. But, yeah, that's a bummer, guys. Hopefully they fix that next time, because I don't know why the dragon is not here. It should be here. I don't know why it's not. Hard mode, is that going to do anything? No? Alright. So, yeah, level 1 of life in the mycelium mushroom. Stop the time, glug, goes, and keep those gems showing. Gotta go out. Boop! Thank you guys for watching, and hope you guys uh, have a good time with this new update. I will do another review when the other when the stuff when the other stuff comes out, because there's also supposed to be customizable banners, of course the end city which isn't here, and a few other things. So um, yeah, keep a lookout for that stuff, guys, and I'll see you guys around. I actually forgot to mention a few things. One of the things is that dr the dragon now breathes fire. And once, and uh, as soon as you spawn into the end, the your portal appears, but you have to kill the dragon to get your portal first. And when the dragon dies, there's going to be this purple beacon thing that shows up, and you um, throw an ender pearl in it, and you can teleport to this dimension, which has all these trees, which I showed you last time. And it has all these chorus fruits, and um, there's also these dungeons, which has this whole thing, and, it, and if you're good at parkour... This thing will be a breeze. If you're not, uh, I don't recommend doing this. <laughs> there's a lot of parkour things. And up here, there's this pirate ship with a beacon. And if you get close enough, it will give you a speed boost. And there's also some chests right here. And there would be a shulker right here guarding it, but I killed it. So if we go up here, oops, there is a potion stand with healing potions in there, which is pretty cool, and the beacon, which I'm not sure if I already showed you guys. Alright, so we're going to go inside here, and at the top, there's also a lot of awesome treasure, made up of all these new blocks, and it's a really big elaborate thing, which I think Mojang has really done really well, because I think it's better than what they've done in a long time. So as we go up here, we're going to complete this parkour thing just by flying. Yep, we're cheaters. There's also these little things right there. Don't go in them. We don't have any treasure in them unless you want to battle just more shulkers. In here, we have some chest plates and different treasures and stuff. So, yeah. It's really cool. And um, I want to show you something else. The shulkers. The shulkers actually 
have this little homing missile effect and what they do is once they hit you it will give you a levitation effect yes this is a new potion effect levitation and on the side right here it shows you your potion effect so that's pretty cool that can be a new game changer and also what um, what can what can happen is if I take a piston and I take a lever and I put it at the shulker oops and I power oops ah pressing all the wrong keys such a derp you can push these with pistons now but you cannot push them with sticky pistons but you can't like pull them back with sticky pistons but I wonder if you take a slime block and you put it right here I wonder if it will work it teleports The, sh the shulker teleports. That's interesting. That's huh. That's cool. So um, also, when if you go into peaceful, what's gonna happen is these things will not die off. These things will stay. I'm not. They they still come out though, which is kind of scary. But they stay in peaceful mode. So be wary of that if you're in peaceful mode. I think I'm done here. I think I told you everything about this update now. And it's time for my real outro. So yeah, a little more full of stuff and see mushroom. Have a clock time blah, blah. have a time collect it goes and keep those gems shining that and keep those gems shining everyone. Kick a out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. Get it yourself and it's really cool. So yeah, see you guys next time. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna do some redstone stuff with these shulkers to protect your house. So yeah, see you guys.